Authorities in Beaver County say it was not your typical drug bust. Well, they say that a drug dealer was targeting kids with liquid marijuana. Pam Serrano is live with how the suspect allegedly went after his younger customers. Pam. Stacy and Susan, police say the liquid marijuana confiscated contained incredibly high levels of THC and that t kids were likely the target market and not just here in Beaver County. Police say this is the kind of liquid marijuana that you are widely seeing being used in vaping devices. And they also say that the suspect was wearing an ankle monitor because he was on house arrest while conducting the suspected operation. On this rural road in New Swickley Township, police say a lot was going on, but even the woods couldn't hide all the traffic. A few children had gone to the house um, and purchased the, the marijuana waxes and oils out of the house. Neighbors didn't want to go on camera in the 100 block of Snyder Drive, but they say they saw cars coming and going 20 times a day. Police say the young people buying the drugs were from everywhere. They were from the Allegheny County, uh, Beaver County, Butler County, Washington County, Fayette County. They're from multiple county jurisdictions. Police got a search warrant to go into the three-story log style home, confiscating 15 pounds of marijuana, three firearms, including a semi-automatic assault rifle, $40,000 cash, and liquid marijuana with a THC concentration of 85 to 95 percent. Police say the liquid flavor, multi-scented liquid marijuana is the kind kids are often using in vaping devices. It becomes, it could be uh, toxic to them. I mean, it could cause death. Arrested for possession and distribution in this large bust with a street value of $150,000 was 24-year-old John James Abmayer III, a convicted felon on house arrest. He was involved in a shooting in Conway about two years ago. Uh, he's been arrested multiple times. The district attorney says this bus speaks to the large demand for these marijuana products, especially among young people. And I think all parents should be very concerned. Because when you see your child uh, or someone in your family vaping, you don't know what's in that vape. Now, juveniles also caught with marijuana in rel relation to this bust were also charged. And there are also charges pending against one other person and also the homeowner. Now, the, D the DA says that he wants people to know that DUI rates have gone up since the widespread use of vaping devices. And some of those colorful items that you saw in that confiscated material, he says, were going to be used as lip balm with marijuana, also another target of teens. We're live in Beaver County. Pam Serrano, KDK News.